Okay, I'm making this video because I spent two years of my life <laughs> trying to get my uh, GPU to work. So two years ago, I bought a new computer. All the components were new except for the GPU. I had a RX 480 and then like a month after that, I uh, decided to buy a GPU as well. And I bought RX 5700 XT MSI version Gaming X and immediately I started having crashes I thought that I didn't set it up properly or it was a driver issue because a lot of people are saying online that AMD has driver problems so I didn't want to return the GPU I was instead waiting for new drivers and tried a lot of different fixes which didn't help uh, by the way I'm just gonna put it in the description when do I say what what fixed it for me if you want to skip through the talk but uh, yeah I even took it to the service in the shop where I bought it and then the guy told me that I should uh, install MSI afterburn what was it called yeah MSI afterburner and uh, to set up a custom fan curve that basically makes your uh, fan spin at 60% even when it's at 30 degrees and then uh, when it goes up to uh, 70 degrees Celsius your fans are working at 100% and uh, he said that the crash happens when the temperature spikes and then just, I don't know, the drivers crash and that's it and then they told me, because it was during Covid, they said that if this doesn't help, you should uh, send me a message. He gave me his WhatsApp uh, phone number and that they're gonna check my PC through TeamViewer. So I tried this, it didn't help. I sent him a message. Then his colleague called me and he said <laughs> that uh, AMD has a lot of driver problems, so I should just sell my graphics card and buy an NVIDIA. That was, by the way, advice of a guy from the shop where I bought the GPU. Uh, the things I tried is, I tried setting up this fan curve both in MSI Afterburner and in uh, AMD tuning part as well. You can set your own fan curves, it uh, didn't help. I tried opening my case for better airflow, didn't help. I tried, I bought a new case, didn't help. Uh, I bought a new PCU, <laughs> didn't help. And then I discovered this term called daisy chaining. If you don't know what it is, uh, look it up. It's basically you need to have two separate uh, PCI cables going from the PSU and not one and then separating. Uh, I tried fixing the GPU sag because the GPU is, MSI GPU is really heavy so it weighs down. I had uh, put this stupid chewing gum shit to <laughs> fix it. Uh, it didn't help. I tried installing uh, Pro drivers didn't help i tried like a bunch of different driver versions even back to 2019 but even though i was getting a little bit more fps it didn't work because uh, some like for example if you run red dead redemption on these drivers it says that you need to update your drivers to open the game so that didn't work either i tried installing only the drivers through amd installer without the software so without this uh, thing uh, uh, adrenaline software. It didn't help. I tried unpacking the drivers and then copying the file path, then going to device manager, installing the drivers manually. It didn't help. I reinstalled Windows 10. Didn't help. <laughs> Windows 11 didn't help. I tried undervolting, underclocking. I even tried overclocking. I tried to change all the settings in AMD. Uh, I updated my BIOS, my chipset, and this Saturday, this is three days ago, I don't know how I ended up on this Reddit, but I came up to some Reddit post that said uh, something about PCI Express in this motherboard that I have, and I have MSI B450 Tomahawk Max. It's a really popular motherboard. A lot of people have it with uh, the processor Ryzen 5 3600. And wait, I'm gonna show you the option actually. After switching this uh, thing, it uh, fixed all the crashes that I had. 
uh, a lot of games would just crash, make my screen black and then I would need to restart and my drivers would even uninstall on their own sometimes. I thought it was a driver issue because in the beginning, when there were older drivers, my uh, entire PC would shut down completely. And then with newer drivers, my PC didn't shut down, but my games were crashing and I had to restart the PC to be able to run them again. So I thought it was like a driver issue, but I think just AMD made it so that if there's some critical problem, instead of shutting down your computer, they just uh, shut down the game and restart the drivers. I mean, maybe it's wrong, but that's my understanding. That's why that's why I thought it was a driver issue. So I went into BIOS settings. You go to advanced PCI sub sub uh, system se sub, sub subsystem settings, and then you go to Gen Switch, and it was an auto. But this uh, this GPU is PCI Express four generation. Four generation. The motherboard is uh, third generation. Doesn't support four O. So when I went to Gen three. It's, it's all working fine now, no problems. It even feels kind of weird that after two years I got used to the game, the <laughs> my uh, computer crashing all the time. And it, it became a meme in my friend group because they were bullying me that I have an AMD GPU and I kept crashing. But I guess it was just uh, my lack of understanding, I guess, of the components that I have and that this issue could occur because of this setting. and. Also, the guys at the uh, service where I brought the GPU should have helped me better. So yeah, I hope this can help someone because I see a lot of uh, people also still having these problems. Good luck.